Hello, welcome to this lecture. In this lecture, I am going to teach you drop table usage in SQL statements. Drop table will use to remove permanently a table from the database server, which the database instance we have created. Now, this is the North Wind database, what we have created and practicing. This is the, these are the, all the tables you know that. Once the table, if we don't want to use and further, and it's not usable for us and any temporary tables are created. So we have to use by querying this particular table and drop the table permanently. And we'll try to create one more table called T2 and we'll try to delete this particular table. Now let's see here. Create table T2. The parenthesis open and close and terminate here. Now let's see here how it is going to be created. ID, INT, the INT value 10 and specifying here. Sorry. Yes, this is the value specification for 10. Right? And uh, not null for primary key and auto increment we can apply or else uh, it's a simply I'm going to primary key. that's it anyhow I'm going to deleting this table no so and name where care I'm going to put in where where care I'm taking and number 50 I'm taking is going to add data type, length, and that's it. That's enough. And go to execute, T2 will create automatically. Now, refresh here the table structure, I'll see the T2. This is the table, it is T2 is created with the column specified. And you see the structure, this is ID and name. Now, what is my requirement for this? Using drop command table drop table yes name of the table it is table I'm dropping the table select this and go execute the statement it's table it says that uh, yeah so query is automatically executed on so I'll comment this. And here it is ready. And so it is going to be performing. So let's drop it. Now drop table T2 and execute the statement. Now query return empty set means now we'll try to refresh the North Wind database, complete database. The structure will refresh. Now T2 is eliminated. It is dropped, returned empty result, it is zero rows returned. So the table is successfully deleted from the out of the box of database. Again, so before, what my caution and instruction I am giving to you is that but before dropping a database table, why? Because the structure, data, everything will be managed. You clearly understand and assume it before dropping a database table. Completely, you will be lost the data and table and structure away. All right. And uh, wherever, before applying this, you take appropriately if it is an important and real time concept and the database it is storing, you have to take in a backup of the data along with the structure and perform these type of activities. Otherwise, you may prevent and lose the data. And strongly remember this is an tutorial is especially designed and given you to for education purpose only all you have to prepare clear of the query statements you have to be thoroughly practice and you have to be master then only it is uh, you will be applicable to execute these query statements in real-time production servers before going to executing such statements all you have to be noticed that 
you are confidently uh, knowing and executing these statements by yourself only. Hopefully, you have a good idea about this, all the SQL statements. Thanks for watching this session. Thank you.